I've been through Lingston, Portmore, Spanish Town, and High Rising. So now the um, Portmore we treated very good on Spanish Town. But you see, High Rising now, water the deal they are we have because of the type of charge we have. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it simple me Wagwan well, people, open body no okay, open body no alright. Each day is a blessing. Let go of all the worries and be grateful for all the positive in your life. Don't wait for things to get better. Life will always be complicated. Learn how to be happy right now. Otherwise, you'll run out of time. Because everybody who lives to see yet another morning, every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. Big up all of the summer day worship of them. Big up the people that go boil the big pot of soap today. I don't know today international soap day. But anyway, make I start the news. One holy pasting thing I go on. Crocus bag full. Anyway, an M16 rifle has been seized by the St. Catherine South Police during a snap raid in the compound area of Central Village at about 10.45 a.m. yesterday. Several men ran on the approach of the police following which the area was searched and an M16 rifle, one magazine and 25 5.56 cartridges were seized. Look what the wrong type of news me I read. Any of the police, them did not listen to me, you see, man. Who did I read the right set of news? Several men get pronounced. Several gunmen, to be exact. Police, me tell you once, so this is what you put idle boy. Just do the right thing. Wet them up, because gun them amongst them. You understand? See, they and worse them run. Anyway, gone over Gregory Park now. Right over my favorite ghetto. The St. Catherine South Police addressed a man who was on bail for a robbery, illegal possession of firearm, and wounding with intent during a target operation in Gregory Park, St. Catherine. He was held. Yes, people. Me tell you, them now not change a change. Don't carry them behind no bars. Don't give them no bail. Give them a funeral. That is what them deserve. He was held with a pistol and several rounds of ammo. Two other men were also arrested. All of them should have get slapped with. Every single one of them. So I have a one question for you. Where did it all went wrong? I mean, which party went wrong in the schools from the other day? Hold on. I so answer your question now because I have my answer. But I can go and read the comment section and see where you are right. But I can start the news right as a first. Two BB Cook High School students who used knife to stab each other outside institution this week was charged with unlawful wounding. Superintendent Dwight Daly and of the St. Elizabeth Police Division told our news team that the students who are both males are to appear before the Santa Cruz Children Court on June 17. He said the boys who are 15 and 16 year old were charged on Thursday. In a viral video, the two students were seen stabbing each other during a brawl in Junction shortly after 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. I wanna see the video at the video in the group so they can go another group but look for it. Hold on a bit there now. Maybe give you one little update from Tivoli Gyard High School. So the youth will nearly get clapped in I'm the next by the teacher. He might go back to school Monday morning. Yes, he's going back to school Monday morning. Member, member good now. Me can only talk about what me say. Me can do like some other people and talk about. This is not the first part. In going to the class to go sell drugs. In going to the class to go do this. In going to the class to kick back. In going to the class to go gamble. Me don't know nothing about that, you know. Me only talk about what me say. You understand? Me I talk about what me say. Teacher nearly clapped him in my head with the decks. And then him and the teacher start to stuss, stuss, stuss. And one little fight go on. Both of them wrong. Both of them wrong. And me I stick to the side of that story that me have. Both of them wrong. Me nah give nobody the upper hand pan. Nobody. Say what I said that I mean what I said I know me already. Me nah take it back. Anyway now people, me ask you a question. Where did it all went wrong in school? Let me tell you now. Too much man and woman are going to school these days. Too much man and woman are going to school these days. And 95% of them who you see are going to school, them nah go to learn. Man and woman business ever go about. And you know stop right there so too. Too much little picnic I teach picnic. Yes. Not for who you see. 
in the schools claim say them are teacher or educators them are picnic to yeah man picnic stuff them are deal with let me tell you what i go under the school now them are the same stuff that they might teach them and them the pan tic tac day in day out i do slackness yes i see at night time them are the same set of picnic they may have nothing in them head space i got dance so what you think i got happen hmm? the respect that kids have for educators are now gone through the door yeah man me i want to appear me i want to appear me no want a secret me i know i do this at the time and night time I don't go out in the school say for the don't know. See me tell you now. Anyway, make I move on. Two St. Thomas residents who allegedly stole one million dollar worth of electronic device from a phone repair store on Queen Street in Morant Bay in the parish on March 10 this year has been charged by the police. Charged with shop breaking and last and receiving stolen property are 41 year old Ricky Francis, otherwise called Blink, a eagle of Queen Street, Morant Bay, while Andrani Scott, otherwise called Rasta, hold on a bit the now. I know that Rasta mixed up in enough banga rang, but him and a Rasta, him a ball tail, a 36 year old Igla of Church Corner, Morant Bay, has been charged with receiving stolen property. Two little thief in boy. I slap the two of them to get slap way. Report that at about 1 pm, Francis Pry opened a window at the side of a store and stole 65 cell phones, two tablets, one cell phone case. He was reported exiting the building using the same window. The stolen items are valued over 1.2 million dollars yes people yes then it's the boy for your slap with. on thursday june 9 2022 the police armed with a warrant conduct a search of francis home during which a galaxy a3 cellular phone was reportedly found scott who was in the company of francis at the time of the search was found in position of a techno sparks 2020 cell phone both phones were identified by the complainant as items that were stolen from his shop Francis and Scott were charged on June 10, 2022. They are scheduled to appear in court on Wednesday, June 15. Angle and banger for them before them reach a court. Can you know, see how waste we are waste time send them boy a go court? You understand? Anyway, I'm going to go to Manchester now. Got them fine body. Yes, elderly body them fine too. Let me tell you what I want for what I want. The police in Manchester are probing circumstances surrounding the death of an elderly man whose body was found in Malgoli district on Thursday night. The deceased has been identified as 61-year-old farmer Ian Wright of John's Hall in Malgoli. William's body was found in a gully in the community at about 10.15 p.m. by a search party hours after he was reportedly missing. Hold on, the man. Hold on. I want to just report the man missing and find him already. I want to send one dash him in the gully. I want to send one when I walk up and down and look for him. Dash him in the gully. I saw what I said, I said, I said, I said, I take you back. Oh, no, I'm wicked now. Some other people are wicked. I'll be honest, I don't know. According to the police, no marks of violence were observed on the body. Resident reported that Williams was seen drinking earlier in the day. It's the belief that the intoxication may have contributed to his death. He drink and drunk and walk off in the gully. And that one really want to say. And I want to push him off over there. Anyway, now, look what I want, what I want. One man want to drink in the bar and leave out. Woman at the bar and in business get fixed. Would be victim kill gunman in Berry Hill. Yes, people. Hang us out for that too. No see a place in a Manchester me Police are probing Thursday night fatal stabbing of an alleged gunman by his victim in Berry Hill near Newport in Manchester. Hold on. In the come and if go down there, sir. No, no, no. A matter of fact, all police. You don't need for them. It's heroes there. Make sure the man who killed the boy. Only give my award. Yes, man. Link up the Governor General and say, yo, we have a hero in Manchester. Deserve an award. According to the police, at about 8.45 p.m., two men, one armed with a knife and the other with a firearm, approach a group of people in a shop and rob the shop's owner and the employees of electronic devices, alcohol, and cash. The man, them not left the room in the paper. Them not leaving the room. Make I tell you something. It's a community robbery. People in the area always know exactly what I go on. Yes, may I be honest, I don't know. It's understood that the man who was armed with a gun forced the shop owner to his house, which is close to the shop, and demanded more money. The shop owner, however, reportedly resisted, and a struggle began. The robber was subsequently stabbed. Yes, people, I may have him picture. Me have him picture. Lie down on the ground. Boy, get tab up. Yes, boy, get tab up. Boy, get to him deserve. And him dead right past spot. I don't even tell him about he was taken to the hospital. Right past spot him dead. The things that them don't go with the police come. See if this a boy alive. No, 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 no. 
right past spot. The disease is of brown complexion about 183 centimeters that are 6 feet long and believed to be in his 30s. Clad in a blue shirt, black jeans, brown clocks, you want to see lean up on him foot His too. identity has not yet been released. Oh, hold on you now, people. Me have pictures, not a picture. Me have pictures. Yes, the people them go from all different angles and take picture him. So I know there's somebody, yes? One uno must know who. So write him name in the comment section and tell me who I'm family member and who I'm par with because he's accomplice reportedly escaped. We need to find him too and give him the same justice. Yes, people, the same type of justice him need to get. Police said they see several items at the scene, including one ratchet knife and a Taros 9mm pistol with five 9mm rounds of ammo. Yes, that's how the police them said them says. Hold on now, people. Clansman them get let out. I mean, no, now wonder where them up to. How we go on with them? Here we go on, power we go on now. Just over two weeks ago, for Klansman gang trial, defendants were acquitted of their charges. Sent home into the hands of their overjoyed families, one can assume the men are happy to be home. Sat down with one of the former accused, Owen Ormsby, to talk about life since lockup. Almost three years, Owen Ormsby was moved through the prison system, locked up under the accusation of being part of a criminal organization, only to be found not guilty and freed during the Klansman gang trial. In 2019, Ormsby was arrested in Spanish Town. As he tells it, police contacted his sister under the premise that they wanted to talk. He moved through four lockups, each coming with their own experiences. I've been through Linston, Portmore, Spanish Town, Iraza. So now they um, Portmore. We treated very good on Spanish town. But you see, I rise you now. Why the deal they are we have because of the type of charge we have. Um, they're accused. So them deal with them very rough way. He says very little care was put into their nutrition. Prisoners being fed barely cooked chicken with feathers and fish with scales still on them. While in lockup, his father and stepdaughter died, dealing deadly blows to his already failing will. Now residing in Kingston, he says he feels safer in a garrison than at the mercy of the justice system. The police just want you to say, me can't say me, shoot this. You shoot this somebody and it's going to take up here. They have no proof. Jamaican police don't investigate, then we interrogate. And that's a choking thing. When the not guilty verdict was delivered by Chief Justice Brian Sykes, Ormsby says he was so stunned he couldn't move. Ormsby says he's working on himself, hoping to reintegrate into a world that has changed so much in nearly three years. Musa, uh, walk up and down, I'm a friend then. Yeah, I'm a vendor now and then I do certain things and I do that no more. Because this charge me get evil. Other people, I'm free, they are free, man. I have to look up the police or so them, but people, just because the charge alone, they want to kill her. Yeah, because you know, people lost them fumbling and something. So I'll let never do it. They might hurt him. He was found not guilty on four counts, being part of a criminal organization, two counts of conspiracy to murder, and murder. I took the opportunity to ask the first question that came to mind. Did you do it? No.